So my name is David Westway. I'm a researcher in the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Alberta. And Dr. Westway, can you tell me about the gist of your new prion research? We have discovered um, an unexpected process going on in pre prion uh, diseases. So prion diseases are diseases like mad cow disease and Troitz and Yakka disease in humans. Um, for years we've been looking at uh, causative agent of the prion disease called the prion protein, but more recently we've been looking at a cousin of the prion protein and found, we found out that as the prion disease is progressing, um, at an early stage onwards this cousin protein, as the name SHADOW, the SHADOW protein is disappearing. So this is telling us about a process that we didn't suspect existed before, and that is the brain is reacting to the prion uh, infection. Um, we believe it's trying to attack the infectious prion protein, but in the course of this process it's um, attacking the similar uh, bystander protein called SHADOW, and this turns out to be a very strong and early change uh, in the disease. So in terms of um, what that means in terms of research into these diseases. I think, number one, uh, we now have a process that we didn't suspect existed before, so we can look into the chemical changes in that process and see if we can understand them more deeply. Uh, it's conceivable once we understand them, we can augment them. That is to say, we can help the brain trying to uh, uh, understand, uh, to um, combat the disease. And from a more fundamental aspect, um, I think it might be telling us why prion diseases are slow. The slowness of prion diseases is famous, such that people with the diseases can actually get sick years or even decades after they are infected with the cause of evasion. Well, uh, it now seems quite possible that the reason that they're so slow is that the brain is fighting back uh, and that is making the duration of the disease uh, extend. And again, to extend that same thought, uh, if we can uh, help the brain fight back, maybe we can extend the process of the disease even further and then if we make the disease take longer than the lifespan of the animal, then uh, we will, uh, we might possibly have a quite an effective intervention against the disease. How significant is the finding? Uh, we, we believe it could be significant because it just opens up a new doorway into disease. We didn't know this process even existed because we didn't know about the shadow protein until recently and we didn't have analytical chemicals, um, antibodies to look at it until comparatively recently. So it's telling us about a new fundamental aspect of the disease. Um, that may help us understand the chemistry of the disease better and may increase our options for effective intervention against these diseases. And what are your next steps now? Well, our next steps, we, we know that the finding is very strong and robust. We looked at different animal models of prion diseases. Um, one next step is to uh, look uh, closely in um, human clinical material for Troitsoidiacter disease to see whether the same process is happening. And the other next step is to dig uh, more deeply into the process to understand the way in which the brain cells are destroying uh, the uh, shadow protein. And then once we understand the molecules involved in that process, then we can go to our toolbox of uh, chemical uh, therapeutics and chemical inhibitors to see um, if we can uh, modulate the disease with those chemical reagents. Thank you.